since we are talking about games, and I think this is really cool, I know this might not be the best, you know, trick in the book, but there is a video, how a simple trick times three my game sales. I think it's just posting on social media when it comes to selling your game. So he probably started making clips and uploaded them to TikTok because TikTok has a very huge potential to go viral. That's how I see uh, him explaining this one little trick. I don't see how else other than making your game much, much better. And so Steam would recommend your game to more people because they play the game for longer. So let's see what this guy has to say. It's true. One trick basically tripled my game sales and is still bringing in game sales every day and honestly mm -hmm. i had no idea this would work it's posting this on is social my game, media Le Chateau. it's a cozy minimalistic city builder that has no challenges whatsoever or a zombie shooting mechanic which is a big deal in 2020 it looks a bit odd is this made with ai 24 well, maybe i know he did it but himself. it's all about relaxing building pretty kingdoms and enjoying the chill music while maybe trying to get all 18 achievements if that's something i never understood how some people could make this like how do you even tell what's going on here i can't see anything it's so small what you like doing it's great I might huh? be biased. I released it back at the end of March and oh boy, did that stress me out. I had about 900 wish lists right before launch. I have 400, bro. And I wasn't quite happy with it. Basically, mm -hmm. I thought, why am I doing this? People are going to hate this game. It's boring. It's, it's probably, probably broken, broken. And I'm, I'm sure it sucks. sucks. Yeah. yeah. Not an ideal train of so thought too. several hours before launch. Especially when that's the moment you find a game breaking bug. Ah, but guys do you think i will find a game breaking bug in my game yes i don't think so to be honest because i will have a public play test hopefully not yeah me too right i hope not but could potentially be, be the case right but i think so far in the future you know just thinking you know just thinking turns out that i was overreacting it always happens in my experience who could have guessed that the game launched and uh, people apparently <clears throat> loved it they adored how cozy it was, how satisfying the sounds were, and how relaxing the music was. Okay. But also, the fact that the achievements gave them something to work towards when they didn't... We learned about achievements, guys, right, in the other video. Don't get the wrong idea here, okay? The achievements do not make people play your game. Don't focus on that, please, all right? It's incentives. In a speed game, time is really important. Making the time lower and lower every time you play the game. I just want to build a cute little kingdom. That was a big day for my game design skills. But for the longest time, I was afraid I would only sell a handful of copies. Like mm -hmm. ever. But the game passed the expected 10% conversion rate from wishlist to sales okay. rather quickly. 100 sales. 100 When you have 100 sales, I think you get your money. No, actually you need 1,000 sales. Then you get sales your money in back. in the first week. No big numbers, obviously. I am not competing with Jeff Bezos for whatever boat you can buy 100 nowadays. sales on his but game. Uh, maybe he advertised it on Steam. Let's take a look. He actually advertised it. So it is a PC game too. It's not just a mobile game, right? There we go. Oh, aha. So 100 sales for a 2 euro game. How long is it? No user reviews? Wait, that's the soundtrack. So it is just on mobile, is it? Huh, okay. Never mind then. Wow, still blew my mind. And you want to know what that How? trick was that I mentioned before? <laughs> You're going to hate it. Posting I know social you will, media. Because I would too. Because <laughs> honestly, it's as simple as... I just kept promoting it. On TikTok. You have no idea. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so the video's over. What does he spend four minutes on yeah, now? how much I dislike TikTok. It's like the Roblox of social media. I don't know why people hate TikTok. I don't hate it. It's just another platform. Too much videos on. Like, how is TikTok different than Instagram? Like, for me, it doesn't. It's just a different company behind them. That's all. That's how I see it. Yeah, and I really, really dislike Roblox. Otherwise, there's not that many commonalities between them, though. I just really dislike them both. Chinese I spy, I mean, Instagram too. 13,500 views, 3,300 views. Oh, these are comparable to my views I got. Yeah, I get that many views when I make a TikTok about my game.
Cool. So I guess I get a hundred sales when my game sells too, huh? Posting TikTok. Nice. I used to make posts like this and they took quite a bit of effort for the <sighs> relatively low view count that I would then get. I had to yeah. set up my green screen, nearly <clears throat> get hit in the face as it expanded. And then after I'd filmed it, I'd have to edit it. I mean, it's not very long, but it's still a lot of annoying. No, I think TikToks like this. So I've done a bunch of TikToks and I've done a bunch of shorts. I think the best way to do a short or a clip of your game is this. This is how you should do a clip of your game to advertise it. This is the clip. There's no editing needed, by the way. They didn't edit this at all. It's just pure gameplay. Showcasing the different mechanics of the game and showing something interesting that you think would be interesting to the player and shows maybe the core mechanic or gameplay loop of your game. Because what they show here, this is the core gameplay loop. You are in dark corridors with very little light and you try to find your way through digging through walls. And so I don't think that you need to crazy edit your, your shorts or whatever, your TikToks, because something that's viral or something that's really interesting can stand on its own. It doesn't need narration or explanation. If something needs explanation, then in my opinion, it just doesn't hold up on its own. Then it's weaker. Playing work. Um, whoever took my background material, could I get it back, please? I kind of need it. Now that just isn't funny. Anyway, then I saw this guy, Nelson. He's the creator mm -hmm. of El Paso Elsewhere, as well as Man Eater and the upcoming I Am Your Beast. Him and his team, that is, of course. But mm -hmm. Nelson makes fantastic game dev related TikToks and in a style that made me go, I can do that. That's my okay. personality. I'm weird. And it's true, I am weird. So I gave it a shot and why not just make one about how my game Le Chateau reached those 100 sales when I didn't expect it to. And why, while I'm at it, not talk about the reviews that I got and the fact that I would love to have more to get to those 10 special, special reviews that Steam so desperately needs you to have. Meaning that Steam only really cares about your game once you've hit those 10 reviews. I release my- of course, because they want to uh, iron out, they want to have good games. They wanna don't want to advertise shit. So this is one of the TikToks he did. It's basically like speaking into a camera and then what? A cozy building game a couple of days ago, right? And uh, it sold over 100 copies already. Like that is awesome, right? But uh, I... To be honest, like, I, like he can do whatever he wants, but for me this wouldn't work because to me this comes off as not genuine at all. But maybe it works for him, let's see. I did not expect it to. For many developers, 100 copies sold is, is nothing at all. But if you launch with the amount of wishlist that I have... This comes off a little bit, like it seems a little bit emotionally manipulative. Don't you guys think, right? A hundred is a lot. <laughs> so I am very happy with how that went. Yeah, how eat people bread. feel about it, the fact that they like it. Uh, but it would be really cool if you could also review the game. Mm -hmm. I need to hit the 10, please. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, Le Chateau is uh, out on Steam right now. It's it's only four bucks. Like, what are you waiting for? Just, just play it. Give me a review. Tell me you love it. Thank you. Again, I... Hmm, let's see. Take a look here. We need to take a look at his TikTok. So this is what he did before. And then he started doing this. So like he got one viral TikTok out of it. But what the cool thing about this is that it's easier to make these videos. You just have to speak into a phone. And that's what other big creators uh, do too. But it's still important what type of content you do. You can see that these have... Well, it's not bad, right? The thousand views isn't bad. If you compare this to, let's say... A thousand views or 300 views here where he had to do a lot of editing because the more editing you have to do for a little outcome the more you stop posting it's just that's how it works because you don't see return value yeah you don't get any value out of your investment you're investing so much and there's no return so uh, i think it's easier i think he's right here with this type of stuff with these type of shorts for tiktok and maybe even for YouTube. TikTok likes this format a little bit more, it seems, but it needs to be important information and interesting information like, oh, I just added in this new cool enemy and something like that. Maybe this is better. 3D hey TikTok, but I posted it anyway. And, um, what? Do you see that number? Over 70,000 views? What? 
Yeah, it got some views. A lot of some views. And for some reason, people were super intrigued and incredibly excited to help out. It also helps that the game was less than five bucks at the time because of the sale at launch. So at people the time, were happy to get it and leave mm -hmm. a review. The game is currently sitting at 24 reviews and nearly 300 sales. This game is responsible for my very first Steam payout. That's crazy. Hey, that's awesome. Cool. <laughs> and what's even crazier is Congrats. that now, three months after launch it's still making me money i'm still consistently getting sales from it people are still it's consistently bad, yeah. commenting on the video telling me that they love how the game looks and yeah like tiktok keeps promoting this uh indefinitely just a little bit but it does yeah if it's good enough that they're they going to buy it or that they just bought it absolutely wild to me i was afraid that this game wouldn't sell to anyone i was afraid that people only cared about cozy games that were made by anyone other than me tiktok is a crazy platform that doesn't guarantee a lot of views even once you get a video that does you yep. often have to get lucky but while luck is a big part of it you also have to make something of quality while my video was silly and maybe not everyone's cup of tea, it was written in a way to hopefully achieve exactly what it eventually ended up doing. Share a small success, share what I hope it will do or what I'd like out of it, and then share the game name. People like being part of something, which is why I think it worked. So maybe yeah. you too do not like... It's like this journey, essentially. He like Everyone wants to like try to make a game or there's so many people that want to make a game and then they feel like, oh, cool, this guy just managed to do it and uh, he's just a small guy, let me support him. That's how you, the type of emotion that you get from this, which is, uh, you know, it, it works. We see that it works. TikTok. I understand why, but don't be afraid to give it a shot. Try some styles and see what works for both you and your audience. It is pouring. I need the audio. Come on. So yeah, go make games and have fun. Subscribe. True. See you later. See you later, bro. Yeah, congratulations. Very nice. I think uh, this right here. <laughs> it does work.